Coming up on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, hurricanes and extreme weather. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is Mobile Learning in the Classroom and today we're going to talk about hurricanes and extreme weather and this is because we just had Airman uh, Harvey as uh, storms and we'd like to make sure that this is a great opportunity to work with students to understand storms and to use them in multiple ways and so let's go. I'm using apps but most of these are available on the laptop uh, or uh, Chromebook as well. I'm starting with one that's called My Radar and My Radar shows real-time radar from uh, different locations. Right now it's on our locations and what you can see is that you can see the storms as they uh, develop. Luckily, we have in our area some, uh, some basic storms that are coming down towards uh, Lincoln. But one of the things that I like about this app is you can actually change what the, uh, what the radar shows. So you can talk about cloud, you can talk about temperatures instead, or you can talk about wind. Each one of these will produce different radar pictures and so they'll be able to see, so students will be able to see everything about the weather as it is happening. That's a great way to start learning about weather and how the different aspects of weather really interact with each other. So uh, one of the things that we can do is you can zoom out, you can see the temperatures in, in different places and as there's time you can see the movement. So this is a great way to look, for example, the storm that's brewing right now in the Atlantic and how it's gathering force and the way the air moves around it but I can also turn off the winds and just look at temperature and see that that picture really doesn't give me the full idea of what's going on and again I can uh, add uh, clouds and that again will change the picture and this is satellite picture so you can see the clouds are gathering around the storm so you can see also how all of these layers interact so this one is called my radar and I think it's a great way to do some basic exploration if you're interested in doing some more of a science and math approach I really like and I've talked about this before weather underground is a really rich app it allows you to tap different weather stations in your area and actually see what's going on locally or internationally you can go to any weather station out there and get real-time data about wind, about temperature, about moisture in the air, and you can actually uh, get a sense of what's going today, hour by hour, or day by day, and you can see, again, it's graphed, it's accurate, and it helps you see what the projections are, but also what has happened, including uh, how much rain or snow uh, was there. And what I love about this one is besides having all of this, there's sunrise and sunset, which is additional information. And then there are great videos that explain different phenomena and explain uh, big ideas and, and small local phenomena as well. So it's a way to really get deep and for kids to being able to explore uh, weather phenomena. Uh, the next one that I want to hop to is called Weather Encyclopedia. Weather Encyclopedia is part of a series of apps that really tap uh, information that's available on Wikipedia but uh, packages it together so students aren't lost and they can explore different phenomena and there's a series of articles in there that uh, pertain to different kinds of weather and especially extreme weather so you can look at articles you can of course favorite them which is always uh, nice if you're looking uh, back you get badges for reading specific articles about topics so that's a way to motivate kids a little bit although um, I'm not always sure that that's uh, what you necessarily want to be doing and then you can search and you can see what the topics here are uh, so for example acid rain and there's an explanation there's text pictures so there's a lot of information that comes in that allows kids to explore different weather phenomena and not just to focus on hurricanes but because this is hurricane season and because we've had a few major hurricanes the Red Cross's a uh, hurricane app is actually a great way to do some work so they've got if you look at the the bottom left they've got a few options they've got alerts preparation tracker and quizzes 
And I love the prepare, what to do before, during and after, which is something that we can talk to, to kids and also help them plan, help them work with their families about what's a, what's a good way to prepare. A storm tracker allows you to see what exactly is going on. It also shows where the Red Cross is going, but it's a showing uh, where the storms are and again you can play with overlays and you can get clouds and that would change the map so the same kind of technology is working and you can of course zoom in on different phenomena this is the same storm we saw somewhere else uh, in the my radar app so you can get information uh, from multiple sources what i like about this one is the tracker the quizzes and the preparation for storm situations so these are a uh, fantastic the last one i want to talk about is a uh, an app called living earth i've talked about this before but uh, they've done some updates and it's a fantastic way to look at it right now it's looking at shanghai but it can look at different cities so we can go back to lincoln which is where we are it shows the earth not quite real time but very close to real time and it allows you to look at the weather as it looks from outer space so you can see that blue dot is where we are right now but you can see the different storms and again we can uh, take a look at the storm as it is brewing in uh, in the ocean but you can also look at the other weather phenomena across so this allows you to get a lot of information fairly quickly and you can see that you can look at active storms here so for example let's look at this tropical storm and this is where it is of course this side of the earth is right now dark let's go to something that is more uh, light there's a typhoon um, and Jose is the one we've been uh, looking at. So again, it's a category one. You can see the speed, you can see the winds, uh, and you can see the direction. So this is a great app that covers both local, but more importantly, I think, global. So today on Mobile Learning in the Classroom, we talked about extreme weather and hurricane apps, and I'll see you next time.